Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and uh, I'm here to explain the end of this Junker Queen series and why this was the last episode at episode, like, you know, 11 or whatever this might be. Uh, and also show off right here in the bottom right, you can see the 49-minute uh, recording. This recording is corrupted. If I open up my files real quick. You can see right there, that's the recording uh, that I just did. This is the recording that I'm currently doing. Uh, it corrupted 30 seconds in. I, I don't have any footage past the first 30 seconds. But it was a 30 minute rinse of me uh, complaining about this game. And I'm going to go do it all over again. I just wanted to show off that this is a 50 minute recording. Uh, mainly because I wanted to tell you, I sat in a 30 minute queue in that last recording. Which I, I didn't plan for. But it's almost poetic, and I don't want that to be lost, so hopefully you'll just believe me. I, I can't show any more proof beyond this. It is corrupted. You can see the stop recording button isn't working. I, I literally can't do anything about that. It's still bugged. It's still doing wacky shit. I can't even close the window. No, I guess I can't close the window, but now it's gone. Right, now this, this recording isn't processed or anything. It's not any more done than it was before. Unfortunately, that entire recording has gone, so I'm going to have to like re ranch and everything. I guess I can have you know the last game uh, playing in the background. I lost the last game, by the way. I had a 30-minute queue to have the most unwinnable game of my life, uh, and for the game to tell me I was expected to win. I, I lost bonus like SR because I was expected to win this game. And you can tell from the get-go, I could tell off here select. I was like, dude, I waited 30 minutes to... Not, not right away, to be honest, because May is fine enough. But uh, you'll see in, in about two seconds, our deep ended up feeding. Uh, and I was like two seconds in. The, the range for this match, by the way, after 30 minutes of waiting, was Platinum 1 to Masters 2. I'm the Masters 2 in that case. Platinum 1 is probably the other half of this lobby. A lot of them were having fun, you know, chilling in match chat. Uh, either way, where you can see right here, like, our diva just walks forward, gets hooked, dies. You know, we, and then it's just a snowball from there. We only won fights in this entire game because I popped uh, my ult. Whenever we, whenever I popped ult, we won a fight. Without that, we lost every single fight. Uh, either way, I'm going to go on the same rant I just did for 30 minutes and try to shorten it so that I don't have to do it again and have a possible recording corruption again. Uh, it's kind of my bad, I guess, for letting it get corrupted. But basically... Uh, Main, the TLDR of all of it is Overwatch has been getting worse and worse and worse and worse with every single update. Every single time the devs say, hey, we're going to fix this. Hey, we're going to fix that. Now, pr we promise, just give us like three months time. Three months come by, three months pass. Uh, it comes out, it's somehow even worse than you could have ever imagined. Every single patch has been a huge, huge disappointment. The exception being the, the week after Season 9 or whatever, they did one good patch then. Or two good patches, I think, actually, back to back. Which had gave me some, some degree of hope. And all that hope is gone again because of mainly Q times. Uh, I'll be real. Above anything else, the Q times have been killing me. And they killed my motivation to grind out challenges like this Junker Queen one. Uh, luckily for the people watching this on YouTube, the Mauga and Reinhardt series, which aren't finished as of me recording this, were finished. They've been finished for about a month or two at this point. Uh, it's just, I, there's so many episodes in them that I had to space out the uploads. So don't worry about, uh, for people that like those series, they'll keep going. This one's ending because it's it's active in season ten, right? It's, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm I'm just done grinding this. Uh, like I mentioned in that rant at some point, every game on average is around ten minutes. You know, I, I looked at my match history; it was somewhere. Right? Every game was either seven minutes, eleven minutes, you know, like eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes, twelve minutes, and then there was like one outlier that was like fifteen to nineteen minutes or something. But on the whole, the average match is 10 minutes, and my average queue time for any game on any account, any amount of players, has been 10 minutes. You can look at any game in the Junker Queen series, any game in the Mauga series. You can't actually look, the Bronze to GM Ryan series was fun because I got fast queues for that one. But look at the, uh, the Mauga series, look at this Junker Queen series, uh, look at the start of the video whenever I do the cut, and I say, I'll see you guys when I find a game. Uh, I always cut that in a way where for a, a little bit, for like half a second after I say that, you can see the final queue time of each game. Go to a random episode right now, random episode in any of those series, check the queue time. I'm relatively confident it is at bare minimum eight minutes. Uh, and I think this game, by the way, that you're watching right now was what, six minutes? Let me open up the controls. Oh, this one was, this one was longer. It was 14 minutes. We stalled this out for a while. 
this was 14 minutes. Point being, eight, eight, 8 minutes to 14 minutes is still not a great ratio, and 14 minutes is longer than the average game, I'll, I'll be frank. I have no clue why this took so long, because we did just get steamrolled, but I guess they just weren't pushing cart. Uh, like you can see right now, they haven't been pushing, I guess now cart's actually further ahead. Uh, either way, I, I'm no harm, by the way, to the players in this game. It's not their fault that they queued into a game with me. Uh, and, and that I was tilted already going into this. I was 30 minutes into a rant when I found this game. Because like I said, the queue I got was unironically over 30 minutes. I don't remember the exact number. I think it was 30 minutes, 42 seconds. Uh, I kind of wish there was a way to check that. But unfortunately, that's not a thing. Uh, but I was, I was talking the entire time, you know. I was saying things like they removed a lot of my favorite modes. Things like competitive Lucia Bowl. All my stats for competitive Lucia Bowl, all my stats for 3v3 eliminations, team deathmatch, uh, competitive deathmatch normal, all that shit's gone. I like the side modes a lot more than the base modes, and that's always been the case in all of Overwatch. Uh, you can, I would say you can check my stats, but you can't because they're gone. They deleted them when Overwatch 2 launched. Uh, at the time of Overwatch 2's launch, I hadn't played Overwatch for a while, and that was purely because of Double Shields, because Double Shields was so cancer that it ruined a game I had already loved. And instead of fixing the balance problem there, they went free to play. They went five to five, uh, five v five. Sorry, not five to five. They they went five v five. You know, they added all the microtransactions. They have a battle pass now, uh, and like, <laughs> and they still can't figure it out. We got the same problem, right? The whole point of going five to five and doing all this crazy shit was so that queue times wouldn't be so high, right? Because for the average player, queue times weren't even bad in Overwatch 1 to begin with, but for high-ranked players, they were, right? People in, like, high elo, top 500, whatever, the queue times were high, right? They were waiting, you know, sometimes literally, like, an hour to play one game that lasted 10 minutes, right? I've never had it that bad, but I've, I've also had it really good for the most part, right? I've never been a high-ranked player... I only recently even got to a remotely high rank because so many new players you know, entered the game when it went free to play. They were so bad that it boosted me, an average player in Overwatch 1, to a high rank player in Overwatch 2. It's it's just kind of sad, actually. Uh, but either way, that my biggest regret being that I climbed in this game uh, is now finally reared its head. Uh, now my cues are, you know, my cues that used to be, I don't know, five minutes max, like in plat, gold, silver. Uh, Diamonds, Masters, I used to have 5 minute queues regardless of my role. DPS, support, tank, 5 minutes. Uh, in Overwatch 2, uh, unless I'm playing tank and roll queue specifically, where your queues have always been like a minute long, because tank has always been uh, awful to play. It's actually funny, the other night I was, uh, I was just, you know, shooting this shit with like a friend of mine who'd never gone to Overwatch, just playing and playing it or anything. You know, just hears horror stories secondhand from me. Uh, I actually asked him, out of curiosity, having never played Overwatch, uh, what do you think the biggest problem of, of going from 6v6 with two tanks, two DPS, and two supports, to 5v5 with one tank, two DPS, and two supports might be? And this is someone who has never played the game. They've seen a little bit of footage here and there. They've heard me talk about it from time to time, but not a lot. I never really talked Overwatch with that guy. Uh, and, and I asked him, like, what do you think the biggest problem would be? And he... Having not played the game, having very, very minimal knowledge outside of just, like, you know, the basics that it, it's a hero shooter, told me, like, wouldn't people just focus the one tank down now that there's not a second tank? It's like... <laughs> that's exactly what happens, and you get infinite value from it, because he... I mean, how is that ever a bad idea? If you can kill the only guy with a lot of health on one team while your guy lives, like, you just win every fight. It, there's no downside to it. It's, it's the most brain-dead obvious strategy out there. Made even easier by the fact that the Blizzard devs buff all the cringiest characters in the game. They consistently, regardless of who, what anyone has said, what anyone has asked for, they've consistently been buffing Malga, Orisa, Thombra, Baptiste, Alari, Sojourn, and like Tracer. And even Bastion to some degree. Like they consistently keep the most like annoying characters at the forefront of the game. With the exception to some degree being Tracer and, and all of that. Tracer is a relatively fair character and outside of very high elo, she's way less obnoxious uh, outside of high elo. But on the whole, they never make like fun characters fun. What they see is they see, oh hey, Orisa's usual like 58% win rate dropped down to like 53. We better buff her and while well, Ryan's sitting there with like a 45% win rate and everyone's begging like, please let me play my character. And they just don't care. <laughs> 
no, like the people at the top, the people at the bottom, the people in the middle are all saying like, hey, please stop buffing Sombra, please. Yeah, nobody's nobody's ever asked for a life weaver buff. I've never heard a single life weaver player ask for a buff or nerf for their character. A lot of the people that play life weaver don't really give a shit about the balance of the game. They're just trying to chill and have fun and power to them. You know, it's not their problem as a player that uh, Blizzard themselves, for some reason, consistently buff their character and make him more and more obnoxious. That's not their fault. Right? Uh, somber players consistently ask for buffs and they consistently get them. So they're kind of maybe at fault there. Life Weaver players never have, never will. Yeah, they actually know how obnoxious the character is to fight a lot of the time, but they just don't really care. Uh, and it's not their fault that Blizzard makes characters that are selfish, that make the game fun for you, but ruin it for the other young nine people in the lobby or whatever. Alright, but uh... Yeah, consistently buff the most annoying characters, consistently make the fun characters uh, bad to play. Consistently make them less fun to play, consistently remove character identities. They gave Wrecking Ball Junker Queen a shout, even though every ball player could tell you and did tell them that that doesn't help the character in any way. You know, Reinhardt, they've been, people have been begging for Reinhardt buffs. The buff they gave him to, was to his ultimate. I don't think I've ever heard anyone complain, uh, complain about the power of Shatter once. That's the last thing I would ever care about on Reinhardt, and that's what they buff, right? They always make sure that whatever character gets like skins is good at the time, right? So when they had Mauga in the battle pass, they made sure Mauga was meta for like a month and a half. When they made a, a Moira mythic, they buffed the shit out of Moira for like a month or two. Like it was, it's it's very obvious what they're doing. It's making the game consistently more shit. They prioritize making money over everything else, selling more skins, selling more battle passes, selling more mission mode. Uh, to the point that they made mission mode shit, the thing they worked on for like six years, it was awful. It was worse than the stuff that they were giving us for free in Overwatch 1. Uh, the side modes, the normal side modes, you know, stuff like what used to be Lucio Ball, what used to be uh, Team Deathmatch, what used to be 3v3 Elims. Instead we get like the stupid alien invasion, we get mirror watch, you know, things that people just across the board hate. People already didn't really like Arcade Mojo Care from that much to begin with. I was actually one of the people that really, really liked him, like I mentioned before. I grinded the shit out of competitive Lucia Bowl, uh, 3v3, like Elims, Comp Team Deathmatch, Comp Deathmatch. I think I did Comp Deathmatch like almost every season and got top 500 in it. I even played Comp Team Deathmatch in Overwatch 2 the one time they let us play it. But what's crazy is in Overwatch 2, I'm actually gonna pause the, the replay. I've been standing away from my computer just to stand up and like. Fucking rants. <laughs> uh, but we can we can actually look. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the replay. But we can look, right? Uh, com comp CTF, relatively fun. Had a decent time with that. Got one season of that. Comp Deathmatch, one season of that. That was pretty decent. Comp Team Key was them testing something. It's like competitive uh, open queue beta back when they had that. It doesn't really count. But what we do get for three whole fucking seasons was competitive Mr. Heroes. And that's just like the only arcade mode I've never liked that they put out. It was kind of novel the first season. You can see I even actually played it a bit. I had some fun with it, but it got pretty boring pretty fast. Season two and three, I, I did placements and like everyone else I know pretty much did that as well. Uh, but for some reason, we get three seasons of that. We get one season of Deathmatch, one season of Team, uh, not Team Q, one season of CTF. And that's all we've gotten in terms of arcade comp. Uh, and then you can look at Lucia Ball on my profile. It says I have eight hours of normal Lucia Ball and seven minutes of remix. This remix sucks. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, this 300 hours down here, that's Lucia Ball. That's competitive Lucia Ball on this account. I had like 15 accounts in top 500 in Copa Lucia Ball like every season. I, I love that mode to death and it's gone forever. They got rid of it three years ago. This was they removed it in Overwatch one and then just never brought it back. Like like the, when they announced Overwatch two initially, they never did the Copa Lucia Ball again from that point on. And you can see I played it the initial season, top of 100, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and this was the last year of it. And then from that point, we just got normal Lucia Ball for some reason. Uh, you can see I grinded 3v3 Elims, 6v6 Elims, I did most years. Comp Team Deathmatch, I had a very fun time with, even got top 500 in one time. Uh, competitive Normal Deathmatch, I played pretty much every year, and I finished enough games to qualify for top 500, two of them. I even did, you know, the Open Q beta and all that, like, Comp CTF, right, Comp 3v3, like, 
I don't know. All the arcade modes are really, really fun to me. I had a really, really fun time playing a lot of them. You can't see any of my stats on it because they removed that in Overwatch 2 as well. That's just another funny thing they did for fun. Instead, we get the shitty Winston Volleyball that I played 15 minutes of for a, 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 one of the missions they have you do to get skins or whatever in this game. I hated all 15 minutes of it. Right? Like, I want to go play Team Deathmatch. Right? I, I actually really like Team Deathmatch. I play it all the time with a lot of friends. I want to go play Normal Deathmatch. This is not even counting Comp Deathmatch, the original Comp Deathmatch. I had way more hours than that. I like Normal Deathmatch a good amount. I like Elimination. 3v3 Elims, 6v6 Elims. I guess 3v3, uh, 6v6 Elims doesn't exist anymore. 3v3 Elims, 3v3 Lockout Elims, you know, stuff like that. Real fun time. CTF, competitive, very fun. Non-competitive, not so much, but competitive CTF, actually a great time. I finished rank 420 on that, you could see. Like, I have a lot of fun with all, pretty much all the, the different modes here at Gauntlet. I didn't really play. I don't even remember playing this, to be honest, or normal Gauntlet. What even are these modes? <laughs> played some Duel. I played ex uh, ex Elimination. No, sorry, Experimental, back when that was a thing. A little bit. Some Freeze Thaw, even though I don't really like that too much did like the prop hunt mode like i've done all the arcade modes. I have, i've grinded a good amount of them i've even grinded about a good amount of overwatch 2 you can see like I, I had i think 900 something hours uh at the start of overwatch 2 and now i'm at 1600 in overwatch 2 i've now played 700 hours in overwatch 2 on my mini account and i have a good amount of smurfs so it's probably been about even what i played in overwatch 1 uh if you don't account for lucia ball and uh i don't know man games getting boring for me mainly because of these queue times I, I can't show it off in this video anymore because like i said my recording did corrupt i showed it at the start as best as i could i'm really pissed that it did because i had some really good points on that rant that i'm not going to be able to cover in a shorter time frame like this but the game has gotten so much worse patch after patch after patch you can look at any of the patch reviews i do and it's always just like why did they make this change what was the purpose of this uh, in like a bad way. It's like, what the fuck were they cooking here? Like, who asked for this? Like, what does this even change about the character? Uh, why is this character that's been meta for four seasons getting buffed? Like, what what are they doing? Uh, and and then now like, like queue times are up. Game like I, I'm repeating the same points, but it's because these are the most important points to me. My queue times are up, like way through the roof. No matter what I play, when I play open queue, solo queue. I get 10 minute queues. When I play open QQ with other people, I get 30 minute queues up to like 50 minute queues. If you look in the in the Mauga open queue series, I found like three random people in open queue that I liked. We were having fun time in team chat and stuff. I warned them. I'm like, hey, I really want to play with you guys. But if I play with you on my main account, we will have a 50 minute queue time. And we had a 50 minute queue time. They didn't believe me. And they got to experience it firsthand because they were three stacked. They had been three stacked and getting 10 minute queues because they were slightly lower ranks. But because I was even slightly high ranked, we literally got 50 minute queues. And then we got a 50 minute queue into a game that we lost, where everyone on the enemy team was higher ranked than us, and it was just so awful. It's like, if you're gonna give me an awful game, like this game right here was an awful game. I, I can show you the end stats when the replay ends, which is pretty soon. Uh, but this game was plat 1 to Masters 2, and it took them 30 minutes and like 40 seconds, like I mentioned at the start, to find this game. It's like, if the games are going to be shit, give me a two-minute queue time. I, I don't care. I actually really liked back in the, in Season 3 or 4, they fucked up matchmaking, and everyone actually got two-minute queues regardless of rank, but the match quality was way worse. I had so much more fun back then. I was just allowed to play the game. I was allowed to queue for it. Nowadays, unless you're a tank in a high elo, even people in low ranks aren't getting queues fast. Like, I have a bunch of friends, like, silver to gold to plat to, to, like, diamond. I don't think I have too many people in Masters and all that, but I have, I have one or two people I know in Masters and GM uh, currently. No one in champ. I don't know any champ players. Like, out of the 30, I didn't know zero, like, personally. Uh, but either way, all of those people, every single rank, even, even the people I know in, in silver 4 are complaining that their queue times went from 3 minutes to about 8 to 10 like across the board it's it's so oddly consistent uh but let me let me see if I can view my stats there uh, game reports yeah you can see this was the ending stat line right we had the second tank brian here 9 and 13. i didn't do too hot i went 16 and 10 but i had three less deaths than the other guys you know brian here you at least kind of followed up on some of me and alari's kills on the other hand, they got 33, 33, 27, 3 deaths, 4 deaths, 5 deaths, we got 13, 13, 11. 
It just shit, it was not a great time. Uh, I'll just put on a random arcade replay while I rant about the rest of this. I, I, just, I don't know. I had this whole rant. I just talked about this stuff. It was all pretty neat and all that. Uh, and, and I just kind of want to get all those thoughts out there yet again. Uh, but basically, just... No matter what rank, they're all bitching about queue times now. It's never been a problem before. And never at any point in Overwatch history have people in silver had longer than like a three minute queue. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't work. There's so many people in silver. There is enough silver players to find someone in, in like a minute. And the matchmaker normally takes three minutes just to double check things. And that's just how it works. Now the matchmaker is giving them eight minute queues, solo queue. And if they queue with anyone, they get longer queues. They get like 11 minutes or whatever. Right, and if I queue, solo queue, and anything outside of tank, tank I still get like one or two mini queues in higher elo. I have some like smurf accounts in lower elos that I've played on, and I, I, I tank in lower elos is even like a 10 minute queue for me. No matter what I do, I get like 10 minute queues solo queue, and if I queue with anyone, we get 15 to 20 minute queues. Like I, I had two friends of mine, right, one of them is ranked gold 2, the other one was ranked plat 2. I went on an account of mine that was plat 3, them duo queued, them even trio queued with another plat player they know, they were getting 8 minute queues, like like I mentioned earlier, but 8 minute queues, pretty reasonable, it's still way higher than it's ever been, but at least somewhat reasonable, right? Uh, then, when I queued with them, the first game we got an 18 minute queue, the second game we got a 15 minute queue, the last one we got like a 13. Point being, we got long ass queues, every single time. Uh, it's just, it's ridiculous. I, like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how they did that. It's kind of impressive. They removed an entire tank. That was the whole thing, right? The idea was, hey, I'll make keys faster. But they also removed the desire to play tank from so many extra people. That I think they killed off easily over half of the tank player base. Because who the fuck wants to play Orisa and Melga every game? Such boring character designs that they consistently keep buffing into the stratosphere to make sure that they're like outside of the high, like in the highest, highest levels of play. They obviously play other characters, but for everyone else, I, I can actually guarantee you if you just played Orisa from season one until season 10, you would be way higher ranked than if you'd played any other character by like a good margin. It's just kind of ridiculous how, how strong the character's consistently been and they keep buffing her every second season and nerfing her and then buffing her. It's like Break back in Overwatch 1. They like released a broken character, nerfed her once, buffed her eight times, nerfed her once, buffed her eight times, and it's like, why is the character getting stronger? It's like, I fucking wonder why. It's it's actually ridiculous. I'm... <laughs> I think that's, that's about the end of it, though. Basically, they removed all my favorite modes. They've greatly increased queue times, and that's the biggest thing for me. They made the game on its own uh, a lot less fun to play just across the board through a lot of the balance patches they made no sense 5v5 also makes it even worse especially as a tank player uh they've also nerfed characters that i really like into the ground that are basically unplayable now right i really like junkrat he's unplayable i really like playing hanzo like once every month and i, I don't play him at all now because he's unplayable for some reason widow gets a pass widow is basically a stronger version of herself before the season 9 uh, patches right she just like one shot from further they nerfed widow because she was one shotting people from too far away and then they rebuffed her when season 9 came around so that she could one shot people from further away again right meanwhile hanzo i mean some people complain about dying randomly to him or whatever but like they <laughs> now more people complain about that because that's the only way he gets kills they turned hanzo from like a relatively skill based like prediction hero into a complete spam hero. They turned Junkrat from the fun, you know, really shit. He was never good, by the way. Junkrat has literally never been meta since the start of Overwatch 1. Uh, but they turned Junkrat from the really fun, like, shitty one-tap flank guy, who's just really funny. A lot of people had a really good time, like, playing as him or whatever. He had a lot of funny clip montage and shit on YouTube. Uh, they turned from that into spam. Right, people, the low rank players that complained about Hanzo, because it was really only low rank players and like J3 specifically, right, the people that complained about Hanzo were like, oh my god, he just killed me with random spam or whatever. Like, I hate dying to random spam from Junkrat and Hanzo. So they turned the characters from relatively skill based, like, you know, hard to execute on one shots into characters that 
can only kill through spam <laughs> because they don't do enough damage to kill someone in a fair fight. Drunkrat takes three shots to kill someone. Meanwhile, Widow can one-shot them. Sojourn can, like, hit them with, like, two right-click... Uh, I guess that's left-click for most people. Two of those, like, little charge-up pellet things and then hit one real gun, you're dead. Like, uh, why did they get special treatment? I don't understand it. it it's kind of ridiculous and annoying. Um, but the main thing is, honestly, just the cute sounds. Even with all that being said, I am still going to play this game. I'm still going to play quick play and whatever. I still might do some basic challenges or whatever, right? Like, I could, I, maybe I'll play, like, a game of, like, Reinhardt, but I'm not allowed to use my shield or something for, like, one or two games, right? But I'm done doing these, like, 50-game grinds for open queue. I thought I'd have a really fun time with them. I had a really fun time doing the Melga one, but, uh, first off, I have less time than I used to. I've had a lot of other stuff pop up, you know, in real life. I've had other games I've started playing again. I've started playing more Mario Kart again. I've played some Pokemon, Pokemon Showdown. I've played some uh, Team Fortress 2, because that's been a little playable for at least a little while. Uh, and I've also been working through like games I've never played before and to make game reviews for, and, and just kind of games that have been on a bucket list of games to play for a while, right? Uh, and I just... I don't want to wait in a 10-minute queue to play a 10-minute round of Overwatch. Right? I played 15 hours in-game of Mauga last season to go 50 and 25 which is a really good record by the way but that was the bare minimum needed to qualify for top 500s the 50 wins takes about an average of 15 in-game hours and that means at bare minimum 15 hours sat there waiting to play the game which means i spent 30 hours <laughs> playing overwatch 2 during season 9 which is just it, it's it took its toll i'll be real I was ready to do that again with Junker Queen. I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll get some like five minute queues. I'll get 10 minute queues sometimes. But on average, these Junker Queen queues have been 18 ish minutes average. Like I mentioned, the, the queue for the game that you watch at the start of this video was 30 minutes solo queue. And it's not two in the morning, right? You, you could, like, it's beyond me. Uh, I, I can't wait this long to play the game. I don't want to sit in queue longer than I do to play the game. When I want to play a game, I want to actually play the game. I, the matchmaking is still shit. It's crazy because you wait 30 minutes to find some of the worst matchmaking you've ever seen. Uh, and that's that's the craziest part of it all. <laughs> It'd be one thing if I wait 30 minutes and I have like a really fun back and forth every single time. But I can tell you the match quality has not went up, but the queue times have like quadrupled. And I don't want to deal with that anymore. 50 wins is also way too much. It always has been for open queue. Uh, open queue up until, I, I think, season 8 of Overwatch 2. So for the entirety of Overwatch 1 and even half of Overwatch 2, open queue used to require 50 games played to show up on the leaderboards. Uh, and it changed randomly for no fucking reason to 50 games won. Like, permanently. That's just how they do it now. Which means that uh, it went from, you know... 50 games played is about 8 hours in-game, 8 hours queue time, meaning 15 hours overall, which across the span of 2 months, 15 hours is a pretty reasonable amount of time for someone to play, uh, to be considered a top player or whatever, into 30 hours, which is, I mean, that's like a fucking 9 to 5 right there, that's, that's 1 week's of work you're supposed to do after work, you know, after, after hobbies, after chilling with friends. And that's just way too much Overwatch. I can't I can't do that no more. I don't want to do that. I can't actually still do that probably if I really wanted to, but I don't want to do that anymore. The game's gotten so much worse, the game's gotten so much less you know, less fun, the queue time's gotten so much longer for no goddamn reason for everyone involved. It'd be one thing if like, hey, the queue time's increased for me, but the people in silver get two second queues. But the people in silver have increased queues, the people in gold have increased queues, the people in plat have increased queues, I have increased queues, I have increased queues playing with them. You know, on my main, on my smurf, on my fucking second, third, fourth, fifth smurf. I, I it's just... <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I, I I just don't have the will for it. I hope you guys understand, for people that were really liking this Junker Queen series, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can't go on with this series uh, anymore. It's it's way, way, way too much to do. Like, I guess if I was making like a full-time salary, like a streamer or something... I could consider doing something like this, but even then, I would probably still be begging, like, my viewers, like, please let me play something else. Uh, I'm happy that I do this as a hobby, because I can just say, you know, hey, I hate this game, here's a fucking 29-minute rant on why I hate this game. 
I uh, hope, <laughs> hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, hopefully there's still some Overwatch content coming around, but chances are I'll probably be moving out to a bunch of different other games. Uh, after this video goes live, I'll still have the Mauga and Ryan series going on for another two to three months, probably. I have quite a lot of uploads kind of stored up for those. They were relatively long series to record, so there's that much more content to kind of get out there. Um, but uh, yeah, like this is going to be the end of this series. I don't think I'm going to do any like super grindy series like similar to this type of stuff anymore. I think I'm probably done with it for Overwatch for quite a while. Not permanently, I'm sure I'll keep it going at some point. And the Doomfist one specifically, the Doomfist Unranked the GM, that one was planned to be several like years long anyway. But that one uh, will probably still be ongoing. But uh, for everything else, like it, it's it's over. It's the end of the road. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, and, and continue to enjoy the, the remaining Overwatch content that was pre-scheduled. Any Overwatch related content I make in the future. Or just any general content that I keep posting on my channel. I have noticed a lot of people kind of with overlap between multiple different types of videos. So I really do appreciate that. And I'm glad you guys have enjoyed watching these. Uh, even if they have been somewhat painful to make at times because of these long key times and everything else I just ranted about for like 40 minutes. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I really do. I hope you've enjoyed all the different Overwatch series I've done so far. I hope you enjoyed this series as well. I hope you enjoy what comes in the future. And I hope you'll continue to enjoy what I make on this channel and on my main channel. Uh, and with that being said, you know, leave any comments below and things you agree or disagree with with me. You know, let me know your thoughts on all this stuff. Am I just being a bitch? You know, is this actually all about that bad? Uh, do you somewhat agree with what I'm saying? You know, let me know in the comments. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have a great rest of your day.